to a fair idea on how things work. So again, bear in mind the email that I get from my manager. So I start just to, first of all, I start to get an idea on, um, uh, on uh, how, how things are with forecasting. So let me uh, choose a uh, geographical chart. I choose uh, the uh, value, I choose my forecast. And as, um, I use a hierarchy for dimensions, country hierarchy. And uh, let me change to this one. And this gives me already an insight in uh, the fact, very simple information that I have over here. I can see that all our forecast is in Europe and that apparently the bigger in absolute numbers, forecast numbers are typically residing in Europe. Yeah? So how does Lumira work? And this is a very um, important way of working. You see that the product automatically has um, stored my analysis uh, over here on my uh, in the middle uh, 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 down on the screen. So what you typically do, you uh, it's automatically done. What you typically do, you click the wheel and you say duplicate. Yeah. So it remains the first one. I go to the second one and I proceed working from the second one. Yeah. So what I, for example, could do is say, well, I change this to a geo pie. And I bring in, for example, uh, uh, let me bring in the quarter. Yeah, and this gives me already a little bit additional information because apart from the fact that I know that France has the biggest forecast, I can now also see that that's apparently in um, 2011 uh, quarter two. Yeah? So, so again, I do the same trick. I click the visualize tab. I duplicate it. Yeah? And I start analyzing in another way. Yeah. For example, what I could do, let me remove this one. I change the form up to, uh, for example, a bar chart, and I'll uh, I'll do. Uh, I, I want to know a little bit more about the uh, other figures. Yeah. So I pick up actual. I pick up budget. Yeah. And I want to change my way of analysis. And, uh,